Hello and how are you? My name is Mehinde Mudara and I will come to our 14th lecture of creating a complete marketplace system. As you know, we always do 14 minutes. I mean 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start our timer. Well, so in the previous lecture, we had created our, our started creating our landing page. So if I click here, you'll be able to see that uh, I started designing this landing page, okay? So we're going to proceed uh, by finishing it. Uh, so we're going to begin by coming here. Okay, so let's go to our project. So this is the project. This is the project. Uh, first of all, let's pick the color, the primary color to be like that of our icon. So just simply come here, click on this picker. I can come and pick the primary color to be like that of our icon. And then I can be able to pick from here. Think no. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open our icon, our logo, which is this one. Click on it. Then I'll come and click here to pick the color. Then I move the mouse here. Think that is the color. So I'll come back to our primary colors here. Click here, the primary color. Press the other. And do the same here then save so when you restart our app when you save it the color should be updated automatically i mean accordingly that's our primary color so let's proceed um so i'm going to go to home section uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to benchmark from this system this one that i was doing some time back so i'm going to give that row on top to become uh that have the primary color as background color so what i'll do I'll come to see. So I'll come this container, this container on top, and give that color. Put your primary, Make it primary color. So there we go. Now uh, after doing that, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce on my image. Okay, on my logo, I'm going to reduce on it. All right. So I'll just simply come here. And give it a width of maybe sixty. Let's try forty. Okay, it's still big. Let's try thirty-five. But I think forty can work for us. Let's try thirty-five. There we go. Uh, softer wind. I give here an expanded and I give a container. So this container is just a place where we're going to write the what? We're going to write uh, the search. So we come to this FX container and say and give it. So we say bordered and say true and then say border color and say white. All right, so there we have our white. Right, our icon we can give it a background color of white because it is already having the same primary color. Or what we can do, we can do it the other way around. We can uh, let this one to be uh, having the primary color, and then yeah, let, let's try this way around. So what if we give this one white? Okay, and then we come and uh, make our border to be having the primary color. Okay, to be white, container to be white as well. And then we give our border a primary color like this, okay? So we can as well format the border in detail, I think like that, and then give it a width of maybe two. So it can be a little bit bolded or three. All right, so can give border radius, border radius of maybe 
5 or maybe 15 yeah something like that or 10 yep so after doing so i'm going to go ahead and uh, put the word search okay search so to put that search i'll put it as a what as a child to this so let's go ahead and give it a child and then he guide and put fx and say search all right so that's our search and then you can put maybe here three dots however our search we can make it maybe black color let's try black color and you see purely black uh, uh so i can put maybe here yeah search all right that's okay then uh what i'm going to do i'm going to come here i'm going to come here and we to come uh, that's our, our search then let's go ahead and reduce the padding so come here to the uh to the border and put padding edge instead of symmetric maybe and let's say horizontal 10 and then vertical vertical maybe five or let's let's make it uh Maybe we can increase the font size of the text to be a little bit bigger. Font size of maybe 16. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's what I want. So you can see how I'm not achieving that. All right, maybe this one can make it two. Let's make it three so it can look a little bit stronger. All right, so um, search. So can say maybe search for anything, search for products, something like that. All right, um, we can give it a font weight of maybe 500 or let's give it 400. Let's try 300 and see. Right, that's okay. Search for products. All right, so in front of the search word, in front of search, uh, maybe let's try to reduce this padding. Yeah, maybe this padding on top. You can make it maybe five. We can make it eight. Let's see. Yeah. So after padding left, you can make it five. Let's try zero and you see. Yeah. So that's okay. And padding right. Let's try zero. Now we shall put there something next to it. No problem. I can maybe put five on the right side. Okay, so uh, let's try. Let's go ahead and put here an icon for search. So I'll come here to our search for product. It is a what? It is a container. Let's make it a what? Let us make it a, a, a row. If you make it a row, there's no problem. That is good. So let's go ahead and put an icon of search. So come and put here feather icons put dot what dot dot search like this. Alright, so it has even a primary color. So um I see our it's not on the same line. <laughs> so the same line let's okay. Horizon horizontal let's try to reduce on the horizontal margin and make it five padding and make it five. All right, so this search, this search, let's go ahead and give it maybe uh, line height, line height of uh, maybe 1.5, maybe it's make it 2. I see it's not. All right, let's try to keep it there where it is. Let's just come here and say cross, cross alignment and put set I think that's okay though that search I feel like it is not in the same line main alignment center is going to center everything I don't want that uh, I don't want that still okay so will I be forced to put a column on this search let's see if I shall have so I put search there and then in the, around, the, around the search put a column and then put maybe size box and say height of uh, maybe five so you can have that column in the same line with word products with a, with a search i think that's fine 
I think that's fine. Maybe you can increase here and make it 18. Alright, so yeah, I think that's okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think we can go with that, but I feel like it's not put your size and put width of five. Alright, yeah. Then maybe come here and make horizontal margin to be eight. And a vertical margin to be uh let's see, eight. I think that's fine. Okay, so I put I think that's fine. That's uh, that's fine. So only vertical maybe can reduce it. Make it three, make it two. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Only that here margin top. I can make it ten, so it should not collide with the camera. All right, that's fine. I think that's fine. Search for products. All right. So after doing that, uh, outside we're going to put the filter button. This one that someone click on and get the filters. All right. Let's put that one at the far right. So I can just simply come and copy our feeder icon here and then come here uh, at the end of the row here and put the filter at the end of the row. Is this expanded? Is in a row? It must be in a row after the expanded. Let's try to put this guy here. Yeah, that's where I want it to be. So you come and put here. Uh, filter icon like this you can increase its size and make it maybe uh, 35 all right let's try this All right, let's go with that. And I feel like I wanted another kind of an icon. All right, let's try to put that one there. All right, so um, let's put your size box of width five, and then also here size box of width five. Okay, I think that's fine. Um, so our image can increase it to maybe and make it eight. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. We can begin with that. Uh, can improve it later. For now, let's go with that. Um, now we proceed. We want to put now the this slider. We want to put this slider. This slider. You see it here. So to do so, we're going to need another package. We're going to need another package. So uh, now we can proceed to this section now on this section of, uh, of the slider, right? So we're going to put expanded. And go ahead and surround this home. Hope you've seen how I've designed that top, that top bar. Then we're going to go ahead and put here a builder and say, Expanded, so inside expanded, we're going to put uh, the ref the, the container. Okay, let's first begin by putting the okay. Let's put the container. So surround it the container, and then we go ahead and put these paddings. Okay, let's go ahead and put the paddings. So after putting the paddings, the next thing we're going to surround it with the what with the refresh indicator. So come here and surround this guy with a refresh indicator. Okay, so this refresh indicator will take on refresh. Okay, so on refresh, we're going to let me first import this our primary color here. 
So that's the color of the refresh indicator and the background color. So I'm going to put here on on refresh. So here shall be calling our init. Okay, init state. Or we can create a function called do refresh. So let us create it. So it'll be a method. I just say create method called do refresh. So it's a synchronous function, so it shall be calling it when someone pulls down to refresh something. I mean the, the, the home. Alright, so after doing so, I hope you soon have done that. So the next thing we're going to put now the 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 what? The the custom 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 scroll view. Okay, so custom scroll view. So I'll go ahead and remove this. This child that we're having here, and then we put now a custom scroll view. Custom scroll view will have multiple what, multiple items in it. So I just simply come here and put custom scroll view. So this custom scroll view, the first thing we we'll take is going to take the first sliver. All right. So I'll come and say slivers in this custom scroll view, and these slivers takes what an array. Come here and put what an array. Okay. Okay, so after doing so, to, to like this, okay. So after doing so, now we're going to put our first lever. Our first lever is going to be simply what our our first lever is going to be simply our what our. Um, our image slider okay our image slider so this caress slider that is the let me show you the package of caress slider so come to yaml and then we're going to see uh caress slider so this is the package let's go ahead and add it to our project so i'll go to our to the internet and search for cross slider flutter package this is the one the latest version is 4.2 at this moment so i'll go ahead and install it come here to install and then i'll go ahead and copy the name so after doing so I'll copy it and then come to our project Go to the terminal and go ahead and import it like this. So it will start importing. It has finished importing. So they have added Carousel Slider in our what in our project. So after adding Carousel Slider into our project in our, pro in our YAML, the next one I'm going to do now we're going to add it in our heart to our project. Okay. So let's go ahead and say. This is how you add it so you come on top here so i can maybe create here maybe a slider i can call here widget called a uh, slider slider widget or slider section so let me go ahead and create a method here that is our slider widget so it's going to return a widget and then we go ahead and return for us a slider here Let's simply come and say return the carousel slider. So it takes different parameters. So I'll import the carousel slider like this. It has been imported. So it's going to take different parameters. Okay. So the first parameter that you'll take, it will take options. So let me copy these options and explain them to you. Just come and put them here. I don't want to repeat things. So that the options so you can go ahead and modify these options as how you want okay you can pause the video and look at my own however you can modify you can modify yours as you want so after i can go ahead and put the item the items is going to be now the data to be shown in this slider so as they saying uh, let's restart it and we see do, 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 do takes a map of items okay takes a list of what 
a list of widgets. That's what it takes. It takes a list of widgets. Alright, so let's go to home. Right, there is some error. What are they saying? Okay, I think we do not specify the height of this carousel slider. That is why. Let's go ahead and see what could be the cause. Have here the items. Child count. Okay, child count. Okay. Let me go ahead and specify here. My sliver. All right, we do not put in the sliver. That's the problem. So we have to put here the sliver list. Okay, so here this is uh, it's supposed to be say the sliver list. Okay, so we come here and uh, let me first, yeah, let me go ahead and surround this one with a what with a child. Okay, let's do that. So come here, let's surround it with um, okay, what is the sliver? All right, sliver widget. Okay, here. So you have the slivers here. So you see here under the slivers, we have to pack the sliver list. So I come here and say should be started with the child and then I pass, I mean with the center of container and this is sliver list. And then instead of having a child, I put what you call delegate. Alright, so this delegate will take so this leaves uh this sliver list will take the length, okay. How long it is okay so we go ahead and uh, say we also go ahead i mean specify the delegate the delegate would be taking the sliver child delegate all right sliver child delegate which is going to be a builder so what you do i'm going to surround this uh custom scroll list view with a what what I'm doing, what am I doing? Doing it in the wrong way, sorry. Container. Sorry. This container is not that I'm supposed to. I mean, this liver widget is not that I'm supposed to surround the container or center. And then that sliver widget is done that I'm going to surround with what? With a sliver list. So. This sliver list will take a what? A delegate instead of a child. Alright. And this delegate is going to be a builder. So you come and sur surround this guy with a what? With a builder like this. Okay. However, this builder, this builder, it has different parameters to accept. To accept the context. Okay. The context and then the, the context and then the index. So we can just simply come here and put... So you're accepting only the, the, the index and put comma and I also put we're accepting only the, the context so I can put comma and put the index. And this is not just a builder, it is a what? Silver child uh, silver child delegate builder. Right? And then we don't put this word builder, you don't need to specify builder like this, just simply open like that. So that's what it takes. And then after we go ahead and specify how long this list is from the what from this delegate so this delegate to take here child count okay so count this delegate and give it what you call child count after this container can make it one because our item here is going to be only one so that is how you make a what that's how you make um silver list so if i come and refresh You'll see that everything is okay so you can pause the video and look at this very very carefully so that is our simple what our simple list i mean our simple slider right now i've not put images but when you put images you'll see that everything will make sense okay you'll see that everything will make sense all right See, that's it. Okay, so what we're going to do right now, uh, what you're going to do right now, we're going to uh, to do what to put the logic of. Uh, at, okay, we're going to let's let's first proceed and finish at least the landing at once, 
and then after I finish the landing at once we shall now go ahead and put the back end logic however this moment at least we can be able to see the what the we can be able to see the landing page with the what with this respective slider you can say maybe uh, color to be primary you can do this for the rest let's see so so with all right so let me do the same here and you see So you can see that right so we shall put the logic of putting you know, the image that are coming from the back end later all right so let's proceed let's proceed so there we go now we're going to go ahead and do the the what the top categories we want to display top categories uh in this kind of format in this kind of what in this kind of format so what i'm going to begin with i'm going to create our what our um, our title widget the one that will be like this that if someone clicks on it they should be able to see the details okay so it's going to be a title widget that we're going to create and then shall keep on reusing it so let's proceed so i'm going to do something the uh, almost the same let me just repeat what i've done here and i put the title widget so let's go ahead and uh, just simply say um come here and duplicate this silver list duplicate it and then I'll come and paste it here so you see there are going to be two so what i'm going to do instead of doing this i'm going to now go ahead and create a title widget so i can come to our widgets i remember we had somewhere where we were putting our widgets here we have widgets here we're going to put our what our title widget so the title widget we shall just be calling it to display uh the title and it will have a what a click listener whereby someone will click and then we call a function all right so let's go ahead and do that so what i'll do i'll just simply come here to i'll just simply come here to what uh to our widgets uh our widgets what our widgets our widgets how should i call it our widget uh, file all right so uh we don't have a title widget yet so let me go ahead and come here and say catch the title widget so I'll just simply say widget Okay, it's going to have. Uh, I'm going to call it title, title, widgets. So it will accept the title. So I'll put string here. Say title. It accept the title. It will accept the um, the. It will accept the title. It will accept the function, the click function. So you can just simply say function like this in the capital letter. And say maybe f or I say on on tap on click on click function and click uh -huh. what else will it accept maybe it will have maybe options right like uh, uh view more text so put here you can put all these options if you want to <laughs> eh? whether it should be center i don't know to what and what i think this guy has done it for us let's see what we've come up with all right let's see what copilot has done for us then we can come and modify accordingly if you want to okay let's first remove this i'll explain it so let's 
add one more thing and say uh here string and say view more text to be view more right so let's see now what copilot can do for us okay i'll come uh, i'll come back and explain I'll come back and explain let's first see what copilot has done for us so let's go ahead and uh, call our title widget so i'll come to our home screen so you see i duplicated those two things so what i'm going to do i'm going to instead of returning here a sliver i mean instead of returning here um another widget like this another widget like this one here we're so going to return our title what our title widget if you i'll import it and then it will take top categories and then view all so view all can come later i mean top categories like that so if i come and refresh you'll see that we have top categories okay and then you have the view all here so if i want to override the view all text i can say view all and i add it so i can just say maybe view more and i add it my own text and say view more uh, like this so something like that i can override it however uh let's go ahead and explain that thing uh these others where they should be having an icon or something like that icon whether it's left or not those are optional things you can do them you, you can leave them okay then here we, what we want what i want to explain to you here is just a padding that has an inkwell where someone if taps on it we shall be calling the what the function if someone clicks on this and then it has a, a child a child which is having a text of center i mean a container it has this padding so you check if it has a padding or not and we do this uh alignment if it should be centered or not and then after we have uh you know, the text the title we check if the title is bold we do the, 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 the needful if it's not bold whether it's underlined or not so if we come here and say maybe and put an option of uh, uh, title. Let's go. Okay, so how how passing the options from here? Okay, so you can say maybe uh, is underlined. If we make it true, now let's see that it will do it. It will go and put true. So those are just options that you can create on your on your own, or you can leave them if you want. Only on my own. My only point is this one. So you can say put for example it has an icon. You can say icon. I put that icon. Then if I say has an icon, I say it to true. To go ahead and put the icon instead of what, instead of that. So you can do just what you want according to this kind of setting that we are that we did here, right? All right. So we proceed. We proceed. We proceed. You can pause the video and see what I was able to do here and pause the video and see what I was able to do here all right okay so only that I want it to be having a padding that is bigger so let's go ahead and uh, come here to container and say maybe do you have a parameter of padding of course I think no I think it is here so padding will take it will be taking a double padding all but I don't need padding all just need some specific padding and specific margin so if i just simply say symmetric uh, then go ahead and say vertical 10 and horizontal zero like this that's what i wanted um so view all then the font size by default i can make it 20 and then should we put it in uppercase uh, let's put it in uppercase so the title can always be in uppercase okay so let's put here to uppercase something like that um yeah can go with that for now
so you have top categories and then a button for view all all right so we can proceed with that we can proceed with that so in here one put our what our top uh, categories okay one put here our top categories right so let's go ahead and put there some dummy so it's going to be another silver grid not this time not silver it's going to be silver grid and in that silver grid so we're going to put uh, the top categories so let me show you so it means that here for someone will be clicking on this it will be launching here this function that the logic that we shall put there you see we shall put here the logic that if someone clicks here we should show all the functions i mean all the all the all the categories list so let's go ahead and conclude with the what with our top categories i mean our top categories so this was a list so it ends here it ends here so we proceed to top categories so it's going to be let me see so this silver list ends here now proceed to top categories let's see what this guy's done for us there's <laughs> a silver green but you're going to let, let me first see what we got here and explain it all right let me explain it so this one's going to be a silver grid not a silver list this time it's going to be a silver grid and then i'm going to give you these parameters Okay, so make it eight. So we're having eight top categories. Now our image half width of fifty. However, you can see. How we do it better and then the text all right let me let me let me use this one that i've already done then so i can explain it better let to explain everything you don't need to worry let me just get this silver list and put the new delegate i'm going to explain it everything i'm going to explain everything just don't worry Okay, so instead of having an image, I'm going to put this. I'm going to explain everything, you <laughs> don't need to worry. Okay, so. All right, so let me come and explain everything right now. Uh, so here, I've just put a silver grid. So the other a list, it will be like in form of a list, like you always see one is on top of the other. But here I've just put a silver grid. So a silver grid, a silver grid for it, it will be organized in form of what? In form of grid. Then it takes a delegate. A silver grid takes a what? A delegate. 
So this delegate uh, is a silver greed delegate with fixed cross access account. So I go ahead and say cross access count to make I make it four cross access spacing to make it six, and then the ratio speed uh, uh, child aspect ratio of 0 0.9 and then i put comma and then those are like settings or the configuration then i put now the delegate itself so the delegate itself it's a builder so you open bracket and then take that bracket you open another bracket and then a, a, a car bracket inside that bracket then you go ahead and pass build context and then the int so the int is the position of where that thing is is so in this you go ahead and specify the number item that you want to display there so for example i'm specifying eight however we should dynamically change these ones uh so after putting eight i go ahead and put now this image okay so i determine the width by saying the available width of this device divided by five you can also get that then i go ahead and put this image you can watch this very carefully it is just in a column and then it has some spacer and then i have now the clip rect which is making going to make it circular and then i go ahead and put my image this is the logo and i put these settings so that is how and then i finish by putting the what the image name here so that's how we're going to display the what the category so you can pause the video and watch that very carefully so you can be able to achieve it you can as well challenge it yourself and see if you can also get that as i've shown you so there we go uh, that's it for today's lecture. So in the next lecture, we shall proceed to vendors and then the real uh, product listing. That's what we shall be doing in the next lecture. So make sure that you don't miss. Make sure that you turn up. See you and goodbye. We meet in the next lecture until we finish everything that we started and what you want to finish. So there's no giving up. All right. Yes. All right. Remember subscribe by the way. Remember subscribe to my YouTube channel. And goodbye.